Hey guys, if you're looking to challenge your programming skills this week and you want to start building some CLI applications, guys, I got six projects that you guys can actually get started today and you could challenge yourself to build them. All right, so let's get started, guys. You already know who I am, your boy Joe, back at it again, codingphase.com, CLI terminal applications, okay, that you guys can build. So let's get into it. The first one that I have here is a stock slash crypto uh, application and basically what this application would do is uh, through the terminal you will pass in something like a stock ticker or a crypto ticker right let's say uh, Tesla or let's say Bitcoin right and you will connect to an API and through the terminal it will return you back either the latest price for that specific uh, cryptocurrency or the specific uh tesla stock or whatever stock you decide to go with you can also go in and say how much your profit will be if you buy that specific bitcoin in 2012 and then how much profit you would have made in 2023 2024 right so you can go in and create a simple application like that and run it right directly through here through your terminal and that will go in and give you those prices okay so again this is the most simplest one now I'm gonna give you another one which is very similar to this one, uh, which could be like a sports application, right? And the sports application can connect to an API and you can pass in, uh, let's say the title of a team, for example, like in the NBA, you can say, hey, give me the scores of the Lakers, right? Give me uh, who was the best player in the Lakers in the last five games. Like you could literally go in through, uh, you know, through this API, get that data and then format it to return the value for you right through your terminal. Okay. So again, this two applications are very similar where you just passing in a title and then by passing in a title, you can go in and get either the prices or you could get the latest scores from the sports team. Okay. So again, both of them are pretty uh, similar to each other you could pretty much copy the same code from one and put it into the other one and it'll probably work almost similar uh, or even the same thing okay so again the next one that i have here is create a project template now you guys have seen this done multiple times especially if you are a front-end developer right and you've seen how people create this uh, view cli or the create react app right what most of these applications are doing they're basically having like a repo online which has like a template meaning it has all of the uh you know the different files and specific locations right for example if you go in and search create react app right let's search that and let's say github just to give you guys an example again okay. um pretty much you could look over here at some of the ways that how they do it um but basically what it is is you have like a template of how the projects is supposed to look again okay, or how it's supposed to run uh, for example you some of you guys might have your own workflows again okay? uh, maybe you like to build applications with next.js handling you like your front end right and then you might have another server that basically runs python right um, and then you just basically connect your uh, front end, which is running on Next.js, connecting to this separate server on Python through APIs. But guess what? You could go in and set up a whole system for this. You could go through your terminal and set it up with that every single time that you want to start a new project, right? You basically run this command and it would generate both folder structures right with all the files and everything already set up for you okay so this is something that is a good idea um especially to save you some time and again this is something that i will say is intermediate it's not like advanced it's more intermediate uh, because there's multiple things that you can add to it right um to make it a little bit more advanced but i would say it's a little bit more intermediate because technically all you really need to know is hey this is the type of files that i want and i want to basically copy this format every single time that i create a new folder or a new project so it's just basically taking that repo cloning it and putting it in the right place 
that's like the simplest way you could create this uh, project template. Now there is a terminal application out there that could help you build something like this faster and it's called Yeoman. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this. Uh, Yeoman CLI. This is something that has been done for a long time. Like <laughs> this is kind of, I don't know if people still use this, but this is a way to like generate angular applications, gulp, right? Polymer, right? Uh, there's a whole bunch of different ways to generate like projects using Yeoman. And it's been around for a very long time. I remember when I first started learning how to code, like this thing has been around since that, that long, right? So Yeoman.io, you could go in and learn how to do this through here. And you could even build like your own uh, templates, right? And your own uh, generators. Again, there's a whole bunch of different ones that people have created. But the real challenge would be to actually go in and do this yourself without having to use something like Yeoman. Okay, so keep that in mind. That's the real challenge. All right, so that's one project there. Now, the next one that I have right here is creating a CLI application that generates reports. So you can connect to a database or read through a CSV file and generate a PDF file with reports and charts. Okay, now you might say, Joe, this is a little bit advanced. This is, you know, I don't know if I'm ready there, right? Uh, but this is actually pretty simple, okay? There's a lot of different packages out there um, for every single language that allows you to do this. All you really have to do is just set up the process of setting up your CLI, right? Connecting to a database or reading a CSV file inside of your uh, folder or wherever you're you're having this right and then from there reading through that data and then running this packages to generate the PDF files for you again uh, like I said there's a whole bunch of different packages that allow you to create the PDF PDF files on Python and also to PHP and Node.js so again this is not that hard it's just you know it's gonna be a little challenge okay uh, but again you guys can definitely do it all right now the next one that i have right here next one is build an inventory management system okay if you ever worked in a warehouse if you ever worked in um, maybe like a shoe store right something like foot locker or something like that you know there's a a way to manage the items that's inside of the store so you can know exactly where the items are located right so technically when you go to a warehouse or you go to um, basically like the back of one of the stores there's a whole bunch of aisles right all the items are in different aisles and in different locations of them so you could create this inventory management system for this business this simulated business right <laughs> fictitious business and basically what you can do is you can go in and say hey i want to create a new item so let's say a new sneaker came in you're gonna have to put in the SKU. you're gonna have to put in the title you're gonna have to put in the company's name you're gonna have to put in the location where this items is going to be uh, located like let's say what aisle um what column right and also to when did it come in when did it leave right so you want to go in and create that okay another thing that you can go in and add as a feature to this inventory management system is is a search feature being able to search for specific items by either the title the SKU or the company right so you could see a whole list of all the items let's say I'm working at Best Buy and I want to see how many items are here from Samsung right I go in put in the company name get the information and it should show me all of the information in a table where exactly all the items are located. Hey, the 55 inch TVs are here. The 77 inch TVs are right here. The Samsung phones are on this aisle, etc. You could build a inventory management system uh, like this. And it's actually not that hard. It's just, you know, you're just going to have to go in and think about how you will solve this with code right with your coding skills and your programming skills okay now by the way uh just letting you guys know if you are a diamond member to codingface.com or own the practical php course this is exactly the same type of project that we are building inside of the practical php course okay right i'll give you guys a, a quick preview of how this actually looks right so let's say for example i wanted to add a new item right 
by the way this is connected to a real database right you can see right here we have the warehouse items right you have all the different items right here and again if i wanted to go in and create this new item i could do this directly through the terminal click on warehouse item new put in a SKU. let's say um i don't know app right let's say for apple uh four five k j k right and then from there we could say uh apple iphone let's say 14 okay company apple right location a right and let's say aisle 34 right so from there quantity let's say we have 700 different items okay and there you go it says item saved successfully and here we go now we could go into our terminal or our database refresh this and you can see that automatically it's right there entered into the database again the cli applications are very useful one because they save you a lot of time especially when you got to go in and do something as simple as this of getting an item inside of a system and if you wanted to take it up a notch you could you know uh, make this even more let's say advanced they they have this scanners that they have on on ebay right and you could actually connect it to your computer right and there's ways where you could communicate with those scanners when you're scanning like let's say an item right like the let me see if this one has it but the barcode you could go in and, and set this up it's actually not that hard if you wanted to really like really challenge you yourself it's maybe twenty dollars one of the scanners you could buy like an old scanner connect it to your computer through a usb and run this and say okay let me see can i build the inventory management system for all the items that i have in my house and this is something that you could do uh again for yourself right and you could do it for a business now again this is a very simple application it doesn't take that long it's just you gotta think about how you're gonna structure this and how you're gonna build the application but once you have it written down and you understand what's the process is actually not that difficult now again like i said this is going to be part of the practical php course go check it out the videos are already up right now so if you're interested in learning how to build cli applications by building this warehouse application is going to teach you how to build all the other type of applications that you might want to go and build all right so anyways man let's go to the next one the last one that we have here is a media optimizer okay there's a lot of packages out there where you can take like let's say an image that's a jpeg or an image that's a png and sometimes that image might be like one megabyte right something similar to what squish app does right so there's a website called squish app where you could take an image that could be i don't know like one megabyte uh big right so let's say this one right we take this image right here, right? And what it does is it takes an image like this, it says 64 kilobytes and brings it down all the way to 27 kilobytes. So it basically compresses the images, right? And just makes it a little bit, um, you know, lighter than what it originally is. And you could keep like the same type of, um, you know, the same quality, right? Or something similar to it so it could actually like lower the the weight of it okay now again there's a lot of packages that's out there that you can use either through node.js python or even php that can take an image file right so you can say through your terminal hey inside of this folder there's a image folder go to that image folder take the image there for every image file that's there that's a jpeg or image file that's a uh, PNG, you know, go through all of the files, right? It's basically like a for each, run it through this optimizer, right? This optimizing package. And then from there, generate the images inside of this other folder called distribution, right? So you could do something as simple as that. All right. Um, and, and the goal is to take the images and make them, you know, much smaller for, you know, for the web or to be able to load faster on a website, etc. Now, what's really cool is that you could go in and do the same thing with some of the packages that's out there for Python. And you could take a video that could be, let's say, two, three gigabytes and then compress that video into something that might be a hundred megabytes okay so again you're taking something that's two thousand megabytes and bringing it down 
to 100 200 megabytes so again this is something that could be very useful for you guys and again it's a great way to learn how to start building cli applications because you never know um you know whenever you're gonna go and work at a company and they're gonna ask you to do these things okay if you are looking to become a back-end developer this is one of those skills that you should have okay you should understand how to build cli applications all right guys so anyways man i want to go in and tell you guys that if you want to go in and learn how to code guys definitely come check out codingface.com is the number one platform out here we don't teach coding as a hobby Every single skill that we teach and we focus on are things that companies are asking for. Even this right here, CLI applications, we're adding it to our practical PHP course for a reason because there are companies that's gonna ask you for this. So we're not learning things just like, hey, let's just learn how to code. No, we're learning to code for a purpose, either to make money independently or because this is something that employers are asking for and that's how we're going to get paid okay so again come check out codingphase.com if you guys are interested in learning how to code but yeah hopefully you guys go in and challenge yourself try to build those six projects they're actually pretty simple like i said you have the stock crypto project you have the sports uh, team project you have the create a project template project you have to generate a report a project you have to build inventory management system project and then you have the media optimizer project again guys go challenge yourself and yeah i'll see you guys later see your boy joe peace